Hey all, I've been here in beautiful St. Martin in the Caribbean uh, for the last week, and I did want to take a moment to discuss how to care for your prescription dive mask. And I'm gonna go over with uh, my actual prescription dive mask, the Scuba Pro D mask that I've been using all week and that I love, and uh, we'll talk about how to take care of it. Here we go. And I figured I would talk about how to care for your prescription dive mask while showing you guys some of my favorite places here in St. Martin, specifically Kupakoi Beach. Uh, the tour season is definitely starting to pick up. When I first got here, there were no cars and really no one on the beach, but this is one of the most beautiful sights to me. Um, and sometimes I actually do snorkel out here and you can um, actually see some animal life out here. You can sometimes get some turtles, um, some other things and there's a couple beaches along Kupakoi Beach um, and they're great places to watch the sunset. So right here uh, against this beautiful backdrop of Kupakoi Beach let's talk about caring for your dive mask and what's involved. Your prescription dive mask lenses are glass just like a traditional dive mask. Look at those people having fun out there riding along the water on this gorgeous day. So it's tempered glass, just like any traditional dive mask. So what does that mean? When you get a new dive mask, you normally need to burn out the lenses or use a scrub to try and get the mask ready to work with any defog. We do that in-house. Before you get your mask, we've already scrubbed the lenses and we've already burned them. You don't need to do it. But the biggest no, and I, I can't stress this enough, is do not take heat or an open flame to your prescription dive mask lenses. That is the biggest way that you will damage the laminate and prevent these from lasting you more than 10 years. Okay. If you want to use a scrub, if you want to use toothpaste, anything that's safe for a normal dive mask besides heat or flame is completely safe for use in your dive mask. I like to use sea drops. I have absolutely no fogging on my dive using sea drops. It's absolutely works perfectly for me. Uh, this is the mask I've dived all week without any fogging issues. Spit, baby shampoo, again, anything that works in a normal mask you're more than welcome to use on your glass lenses, including Windex, which you would not do on plastic or polycarbonate lenses. And just as a quick reminder, these tips I'm giving are for our custom glass dive mask lenses. These do not apply to our swim goggles, and this does not apply to our full face snorkel masks. Those have different rules because they are not glass lenses. We get a lot of people who break their dive masks or prescription dive masks because they drop them. This would not be a good place to drop your prescription dive mask right onto rocks, okay? Be careful. And that goes with packing your dive mask too. A lot of people say, should I check my dive mask or carry it on? I don't check any piece of dive gear that would ruin my dive trip. If I don't have my prescription dive mask or my computer, that would ruin my trip. If I had to borrow a BC or regulator or fins, I'd be okay. But I can't borrow a prescription dive mask in my prescription, including astigmatism. So I take my mask and carry on. If you are gonna check your prescription dive mask, do be sure that you package it extra well, put some padding like a t-shirt or some socks inside the dive mask case, wrap the dive mask case or something else so that if your check bag does get dropped, thrown, anything else along those lines, uh, it, you've got a little extra protection there. And this is my actual D-mask. I've got a ton of dives on there. You can start seeing I've got some signs of love on it. The nice thing about the D-mask, just FYI, is these pieces are interchangeable. They come in different colors. And as this gets scraped up, I can actually replace it. Also, the skirts are interchangeable, so if you want to change out for a different size skirt, it's super easy to do so uh, on your end. As I start coming back up to grab a, a drink at Danny's Bar that's attached to Kupakoi Beach over here, the other things that you want to do is make sure that you never let salt water or chlorine dry on your prescription dive mask. You want to always be sure to rinse off your prescription dive mask with fresh water after any dive or use in the pool. And when it's drying, don't leave it out in the sun all day. You're gonna bleach the colors. So just to summarize here, best thing you can do with your dive mask, don't leave it out in the sun. Rinse it with fresh water after every dive or pool use. Use defog, do not ever use heat or an open flame on your dive mask. Be careful when packaging it and transporting it.
Otherwise, happy diving. Give us a shout if you have any questions. Your broken rip off, wait for his arm Doesn't matter if the sun goes down We'll still be up, still be up Don't care about the place we found We'll still be up, still be up We're in